Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here, and today we're back for another video, and this video, uh, and we're doing the two-player dodgeball game. Today we are, we, we, will, we are working on this two-player dodgeball game. The objective of the game is to knock your opponent's HP to zero. Players must avoid getting hit by the balls. Only two balls can be thrown at the same time. Two-player dodgeball game. We'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Variables, forever loops, broadcast message, touching other sprites, controlling sprite with keys. So I'm gonna demo the game. So I have my dad with me to play. Hello. And I will be Yeah, so so there's music and I'm the blue dude and then I use the right arrow to shoot. Uh, the left arrow to shoot, and for the red dude, the red Pico, he uses um, D to shoot, so that's nice. So, you can throw two balls at this given time, at the same time. So, so as you can see, I won, so it says play the two wins. So, we will be making this project yeah, so let's make a new project. Yeah. Before I start, please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below for what else content you want. So first, I'm going to take out the sprite. I'm going to the sprite library. I think it's called Pico. Yes, Pico. Pico walking, because he's supposed to be walking up and down. So we have Pico walking. You can also duplicate this dude, but first let's get the uh, beach ball. And we're only doing one and then we'll duplicate it afterwards. So let's just do the variables. So you gotta make a variable called player one HP. And then player one ball counter. You also need player 2 HP. Player 2 HP. And also player 2 ball counter. Also need speed. So speed is this is really important. So it's not for all sprites. If you click this, it's going to be wrong. If you click the OK button for all sprites, it's going to be wrong. You have to do for this sprite only. Then you click OK. So there we have it. But we have to hide some variables right now. And it's these three. So you can also um, change the backdrop. The backdrop is we can also we can change it to a basketball a gym i think it's called gym no basketball. basketball one so there we have it and for the code we need to get the sound first i i did dubstep so let's just search up dubstep yep dubstep and when the green flag is clicked it will forever play sound dubstep until done. So until done. And you also have to work on Pico. And first you need the when the green flag is clicked. Um set player one HP to a hundred. So I'll have a hundred HP when you start. I'll point in direction 90 because it's facing right. Go to this position, but I'm going to make it go to more in the middle. So maybe here. Uh -huh. Maybe let's do negative 180. Zero. And then um, set rotation style left, right. Um, so we'll not, we'll not flip around. We'll not flip over. And it'll set speed to zero. 
спи теперь. So I made a mistake and I put speed inside the beach ball. So I'm gonna delete the speed variable from the beach ball and go make speed for Pico. For this part only, only the speed. So, and then it'll set speed to zero. Go forever. Change Y, not set Y, change Y by speed. And if on edge, it will bounce. So this is pretty simple. Um, when the when the W key is pressed, W W W W key is pressed. It'll set speed to three. You just have to duplicate this and it's still set speed to three but it's set minus negative three so it's s negative three so as you can see i'm just going to try it it's w and d so right now we haven't coded everything yet as you can see it's it's working correctly it's going up and down once you click it once so there Okay, so, so when the green flag is clicked, we'll go forever. Next costume, like it'll forever change costume. And I'll wait 0 0.1 second for it until changing back to the same co next costume, so 0 0.1 second. So we do not want to do it inside here because it will mess up the code and it has a weight, so it will mess up the code very in it will injure the code basically so let's just keep on going so when the green flag is clicked it'll go forever if then touching tennis ball we do not have the tennis ball yet but we can get it from the sprite library right now that's the tennis ball that the other dude throws so if then touching tennis ball tennis ball then it will broadcast player one got hit. So we'll be still working on player one. So when when I receive player one got hit, it will change player one HP by minus two. And if then player one HP equals zero, that means it'll broadcast player two win because player two killed player one. So I'm gonna just do this really quickly. Broadcast player two win and then when i receive player one got hit it will say ouch for one second so we put the ouch in a separate thing because um, if you put it in here, it'll mess it up. And if you get hit twice, it'll only register only once. So that's why we need it in a different um, broadcast. So I'll show you later. So we're gonna work on the beach ball. So when the green flag is clicked, um, it will set player one ball counter to zero in it'll hide. When, when I receive, no, no, when, when the key D is clicked, cause press, D will press it. If then the player one 
ball counter is less than two. Play one ball counter. Then I'll create clone of myself. It's because we don't want to spam and like keep on clicking the D key and there's like so much balls everywhere. So yeah. And then another thing for the code for the beach ball is when I start as a clone. Change player one ball counter by one. And I'll go to player. Go to player. Go to the Pico. So I'm gonna change him to player one. I'm gonna change his name to player one. So go to player one. It will show and point towards player two because you're basically hitting player two. So point towards player two. We do not have player two yet, but we can. So I will duplicate this, duplicate, and he is player two. They, they will not have the same code, but I will do that later. Let's go back to the beach ball and point towards player two. Repeat until You need an or statement, no or operator function. Touching player two, so that's when it's touching the player two. Or touching edge. Did it go here? It's fine, I will find that. Beach ball. So, not there, but duplicate and then or touching player or touching the edge and I'll move six steps change so after this not inside it will change player one ball counter by minus one and delete this clone So to disconnect this code right over here or also will not work right now so I will disconnect that and I will replace it later and fix it so so our beach ball is all done and our player one is all done too so yeah I'm gonna test it Let's click save now and as you can see you're shooting his balls out and yeah so yeah so we just have to fix the player two code so when the green flag is clicked it'll set player two hp instead of player one hp to 100 point in direction negative 90 point direction negative 90 set rotation side the left right Set speed to zero forever, change Y by speed, and if I'm edge bounce, so that's, we, we need that. So instead of touching tennis ball, it's touching beach ball, then broadcast player two got hit. Player two got hit. And instead of W, it's up arrow, instead of S, it's down arrow. And then when I receive player two got it, change player two HP by negative minus 10. And then if player player two HP equals zero, then broadcast player one win. The complete opposite. So I'm gonna change this to player two got hit. Yeah. And, and then I'll broadcast player one win. Cause, so we'll be working on the tennis ball now. So when the green flag is clicked, we might have to change the size of this. So I'm gonna change it to 215. Yep, that's around the same size. And then beach ball 
um, you just have to drag everything into the tennis ball, and then you just have to change it up a little bit. So let's just drag everything. I hope that's everything. Yep, that's everything. You go here. So one, two, three. Okay, there's three scripts. Cool. That's correct. And then instead, set player two ball counter to zero. And then instead of D, it's left arrow. And then, and then I'll change this to player two ball counter. And so I just did this player two ball counter. I just change it. You just have to right click the variable and then you can change it. And then over two and create clone myself. That's correct. And then when I start as a clone, change player two ball counter by one. Go to player two. Show point towards player one. Repeat until touching player one or touching edge. Move six steps and then change this to player two ball counter. So I might change the color of player two. So costumes, I'm going to change all of his co um, costumes to blue. Maybe this blue. And then I'm going to use the fill. Change this, this, this. This, this, and this, right? And I'll have to do it for all of them. So, I'm almost done. Oopsies. Control C, and I'll just change this the eyedropper do that and pick a walk for yep there and yep we have it and yeah we also have to do the you win sprite so I have it inside my backdrop right here so I have to play your two wins so the win sprite so I have all the costumes here. So the first costume is player one wins, second costume is player two wins. So yeah. So when the green flag is clicked, it will hide. When I receive player one win, it will show. And switch costume to costume one, which is the player one win, this one, this player two wins, second costume, and stop all. You have to duplicate this and change this a little bit. Player two win instead. We'll show and switch costume to costume two and also stop all. So there you have it. So I'm just gonna demonstrate it to you guys. So let's play. So I'm the blue, my father's the red, and so I'm gonna shoot twice. So So I'm just gonna win here. And as you can see is player two wins. So that, that's it for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. See you guys.